So, uh, start out introducing yourself. Jerry Alexander, Kimberly's father. Don't look at me like that. that part out? No. <laughs> Yeah, uh, just introduce yourself and Jerry say like... Jerry Alexander, owner of Dorcas. How long? Since 1980, so 35 years. So how have you come to this business? How did you find out Family about it? Family business. Yeah. My, my father and mother started back in 1968. They opened up across the street. And then they ended up getting a divorce, and mom opened up a store half a block up. Well, she got remarried. Her husband didn't want her to work, so they sold that to my dad and a partner who happened, a partner happened to own Dorothy's. Well, so they owned this partnership for many years, and then they had a falling out, and um, so they were going to split the business, and so he gave her the choice. She chose Jeanette, so we ended up with Dorothy's in 1980. And now we have Jeanette's and ABC, which was the original story. Hey, and what's your name? Jorge Ramos. Jorge Ramos? Yeah. And what are you doing? I'm pressing. Pressing? Like to run a family business that's very like family oriented, specifically Pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name's Jessica. I'm 26 years old. I worked for a family business for over 10 years. Working for your family has its ups and downs, mainly ups. They like to work with you and your schedules and what you need. Right now, I'm working for the dry cleaning part of a family business and the military comes in, turns their clothes in, and we clean them and get them back to them in all the ways that they need them back. That's it. I want to do <laughs> How long have you been working here, April? I've been here for a little over 10 years. Mm -hmm. And I love it, personally. Being family-owned business, I, I love it. Do you remember your first day? I do not. <laughs> I remember the day I got hired though, <laughs> but I don't remember the first day of actually working. But it was hard to get used to learning all the new stuff and all the new ranks and, you know, just the, um, how specific the military wants everything done and, you know, you can get those angry customers sometimes that, you know, that really can ruin your day, but oh, you can't yeah. let it because you're on the counter where everybody else can see you, you know? Smile and wave, boys. <laughs> Smile and wave. So, um, it's been pretty fun, though. I, you know, pretty much grew up here, so it's like home to me. It's like home to me, too. I know. We've seen you grow up. Home. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what are you doing right now? Right now, I'm just taking an AMK box machine. Um, we can get solar on cannies. Mm-hmm. Now I'm getting ready to uh, make another one. Yeah, it's just a matter of setting the tape up, make sure it's in the right spot. And that way everything's sewn on straight. Everything, I mean, this is all computerized, so... For the most part, it's a piece of cake. You just gotta make sure that your margins are... Uh, Okay, once you get your margin set and the machine starts, then everything else is done. Just follow shit. The thing puts out 500 stitches a minute. So you gotta make sure you keep your fingers out of there. It's gonna hurt. Have you ever no. accidentally? No? no? Never? No one? No. Sweet! What about at a different throwing machine? No, no needle punctures. I've stapled my fingers a few times. That hurts worse than anything else I've ever had done. And of course, I've burnt myself on steam pipes and steam and whatnot. Ow. Knock on wood, but I'm I burnt myself.
yourself on hair straighteners. There you go. It's the same thing. Are there any ways that you want to branch out your business? No? You don't want to... No, when, I was, when I was younger and, you know, I wanted to, uh, you know, have this big old conglomerate. Mm -hmm. But at one point, with everything we had going on, I had 67 employees. And that was a pain in the butt. And I just couldn't imagine managing more people. Especially nowadays with, you know, insurance and everything else. It's just, you know, not something I want to get into at my age. Talk about uh, buying other stores like G.I. Joe's, Jeanette's, and ABC's. G.I. Joe's is your grandpa's. I don't have anything to do with that. But um, way back when, the Marines used to have to starch their camis. Oh, yeah, it was a huge part of our business. Tremendous amount of business we did. And they... Uh, they didn't have enough dry cleaner or sewing to keep them busy, so they, they fought as long as they could. And then Jeanette's went out first, and uh, she asked us if we wanted to do business, and we did. So we went over there, and then a year later, ABC followed the same thing. They couldn't make it because of the camis. What are some key problems that have happened in the past? The biggest problem you're going to have in any business is your employees. Whether they get sick, whether they decide to quit, Whatever the case may be, you know, they're having a bad day and, you know, they make, you know, they're pain in the butt to be here. Or in our business where we use to tie a lot of machinery is if the machine breaks down. What are some upsides about your job? Come and go as I please. Is that it? That's about it, yeah. Really? Yeah, I don't answer to anybody. <laughs> Except the wife, right? I don't answer her either. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what are some key things that you want people to know about dry cleaning businesses or um, Army, Marine I just want I just want people to know that we're here and if something comes up and, you know, they're, they're, my service is needed. We will be able to do it. We run longer hours than most people and we can take stuff later in the day. Okay. Else? Okay. Good. Thanks, baby. I love you, Dad. I love you too, honey. I love you. You're all right. Um, now we'll see how good your editing skills are.